So this guy is the motor from a shop vac. Okay. And you know, there's the buttons up there. But the issue with this, um, originally was a bearing and we've fixed that issue. But putting it back together, we realized we we're missing a component um, that will keep this uh, fan from uh, touching the plastic down here. So some kind of a standoff or a bushing is missing. And so there's a thread up here to attach a, like an M8 bolt um, to this shaft, but without the bushing or standoff, it just pushes the two pieces together and it can't spin freely. So what I'm gonna do is we found this, some washers that fit pretty well over that axle. And you can see there's this main sort of pocket here, but inside there's the bearing. We can see the inner race of the bearing and the inner race of the bearing turns with the axle. So if I make a little bushing or a sleeve that slides on here, but it's inner, or it's uh, outer diameter, if I can make it fit just on top of the inner race of the bearing and slip down into that, then I'll be able to sandwich it between the inner race of the bearing and this unit and that it, there will be no uh, sl slipping of surfaces or grinding of surfaces since the uh, I can use that bearing as uh, it spins with the rest of the axle so but what I've done is just pressed these washers in between a socket head screw and a nut. I chose the socket head screw because it's going to allow me to remove more material and won't get in the way because I have to take the diameter down. See, so just a rough estimate with the calipers. Let me get the inches says if I make this thing about 0.4 Five, it should fit nicely. And this socket head is 0.4, it's about 0.46. No, that'll still fit. So that's fine, I'm not worried about that. to have this spring on this guy but it's really a safety thing because it keeps you from leaving it in the chuck which would be disastrous if you turned it on so I'm pretty much gonna take it down to the same diameter as the screw head you know as far as basically as far as I can go It's not perfectly true, but for this application, I'm not concerned about that. same size as the bolt head 4 point or uh, 0.46 so that's good we said we said that'll work but I'm gonna let it cool off a little bit first before I touch it All right. 
you can see I sacrificed the nut in order to do this job, in order to cut the washers all the way down, but I'm not concerned about that. Right, they fit on well, and seems like from first inspection that that's gonna do it. They, this guy is not touching the plastic at all. It's completely resting on the inner race of the bearing, so we should be able to torque up against those washers and not have any friction. That's good. As well, when you lose a part, you know, you got a lathe or something, there's, there's usually a way you can put something together. A lathe is a great tool. Well, um, if you found this helpful, give the shop back with like or subscribe. Thanks for watching.